Okay, so this is the next video in me cataloging my life at Emory. Uh, what I've realized now is that me doing all of this is basically just making me into a college vlogger. Um, but <laughs> that's okay, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna go through my dorm tour. I actually live in an apartment. I live in student housing uh, on the Claremont part of the campus, which is just where the majority of the upperclassmen live. The, pretty much all juniors and seniors who live on campus live here, plus some grad students and maybe a few sophomores if they choose to. Um, but basically it's apartment style housing, so it's not like classic dorms, but you still have roommates, you either share a room or you have your own room and um, you still have full access to all the campus facilities. There's shuttles that go back and forth between this campus and main campus. It only takes like literally like four or five minutes to get between here and there. Um, and there's a lovely park called Lowell Water that's right next door. Um, overall, I think it's a really nice setup. It's super convenient and it means that we get more space and uh, most juniors and seniors don't have to share rooms. So overall, pretty good deal fix my hair. I don't know. Did it need fixing? I don't think my hair actually needed fixing, but I fixed it. So I am a senior. I have only lived here for one semester because last year was COVID. So I actually did live in Atlanta last year, um, but I lived off campus just a few blocks away from here um, in a house with some friends and that was really good too. But now I live on Claremont and I'm doing this because I'm actually gonna be leaving. I'm graduating in December in just a few months and so I didn't wanna sign a lease or do anything like that. It was just way easier to just live on Claremont um, and I'll get to move out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show um, what my bedroom first looks like. It's actually a very nice bedroom. It's so nice not to have a twin bed. <laughs> I have a full, which it's like somewhere between uh, like a twin and a queen, I guess. Um, but it's fantastic. Like I literally love it. And then I'll show the kitchen and my bathroom. I have my own bathroom too, which is fantastic. And then the sort of living area. Um, yeah. So enjoy. This is my dorm tour. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. Here's my bed, you can see there. I have other furniture like a bedside table and a chest of drawers with some pictures and things like that. All the furniture is provided by Emery. I didn't have to bring any furniture at all. There's my little messy corner. That's where I throw all the stuff that I don't wanna put away. There's the desk I was just sitting at while I was talking to you. I do a lot of work there. Then I have two closets, lots of space. I don't actually have enough to put like in those closets, but I'm not complaining. Can't have too much space, I guess. And then right across the hallway here, we have the bathroom. It's actually a lovely bathroom. It's my own as well. I don't have to share it, which is honestly kind of unbelievable for a college student to have your own bathroom. There's a little bit of counter space that I have all my random products and things like that on. And then we just have the hook on the side of the door that I actually put up myself. It's just one of those little plastic ones and the tub and the shower that is could not be more standard if they tried um overall i would say i really like this bathroom and i definitely don't have any complaints about it uh, occasionally the drain will clog or something but you can just put in a work order and they'll come fix it for you there are just some shelves that came with the apartment i don't know got my books have a few little pumpkins that i got at trader joe's for the fall aesthetic or whatever and then over here we have the kitchen. The kitchen has everything. It has a dishwasher and a sink with a garbage disposal, a fridge and a microwave, a stove and an oven. Basically anything you could want except maybe like a toaster oven. It has um, really great actually. And then this is my living room. So here we have a sectional sofa and a coffee table. Right out here you can see the window has a fantastic view. It's really sunny out today and it has great natural light. And then this is our table that we study and eat at. Originally it was actually in the foyer area but it's pretty dark over there so we moved it over here because we like the light. Um, and honestly who wants to spend time in the foyer when you're eating dinner? Um, and then here we have another closet which includes a 
clothes washer and dryer, which is in unit and is actually so amazing for just the two of us. Like truly, I feel like this apartment has so many luxuries. And then we just keep our detergent and some clothes that we left drying right up there. Um, I was actually doing laundry as I recorded this. So it's super convenient. You never have to go out to a laundromat or even to somewhere else in the building like you do during the first two years. And then over here's my roommate's room and my roommate's bathroom. Um, we're not going to go in there just because we want to respect her privacy, but it's basically exactly the same as mine. And here's the fuse box. Uh, circuits break a lot in some of the buildings. They haven't really in this apartment, but where I used to live, the circuits would break a lot. So I used to use this a lot sophomore year to uh, adjust it and just when they trip or whatever. Um, over there is the heater, I think, in that closet. I have never opened it. It's locked. I'm not allowed to go in, I guess, according to the building people. And then we're back in my room. I love my room. I think my bed looks really nice with the white duvet and the light from the window. It reminds me a little bit of a cloud. Um, and here you can see my view. It's just the same view as from the kitchen and the living room area, but it's just mine. And sometimes I just sit and I look. All right. So hope you enjoyed that. This dorm room apartment area is extremely typical of what Emory dorms look like. There isn't that much variation. Uh, if you live on campus as an upperclassman, you're either going to live in something that looks exactly like this or a room that looks very similar to this with all of the same furniture, but with a slightly different layout in a different building. Um, but I think there are like three buildings that all literally have all of their rooms that look exactly like mine. And then there's two buildings that look a little different. And then there's Claremont Tower, which um, is just this big sort of it's like one of the taller buildings on campus it's like 17 stories high and that is i would say slightly different that's where the doubles are for if you're in an upper if you're like an upperclassman basically so um that would mean that you would share a room if you lived there possibly or you might have a single and live there but i think all the rooms in my building and the other buildings like it most of them on claremont all have um, single rooms and then most people still have roommates but you have your own room and a lot of the time you have your own bathroom too so it's nice I would say honestly it's <laughs> like a much nicer living situation than I need but I'm not gonna complain um so I'm sure that I will not have an apartment this nice once I graduate college <laughs> so yeah um Thanks for watching and tune in next time for the next um, video in my Becca is at college and wants to remember what it was like to be at college video series. <laughs> Thank you.